Hello Potterheads and welcome. Now for this episode of Pottercast, I think we should touch upon how pure blood wizards are not for proper English lessons. In that case, in the case of not learning how to read, write, and spell properly. In terms of pronunciations, before they are old enough to go to Hogwarts. Now, the evidence I thought I'd use for this is some of the mispronunciations we see or, or hear of words in the actual books. Okay, so let's go over some of these, shall we? There's uh, quite a few of them. First of all, there's Canut and Kneasel. Now, what's wrong with the pronunciations of those two words? Silent K's, yes. They clearly pronounce what ought to be a silent K at the beginning of each of those words. Yet when it comes to the night bus, they don't pronounce the silent K. So by that logic, should they be calling that the Knight bus? Do they really even know what they're doing? Okay, so that's two of the most obvious ones done and out of the way. You don't pronounce a silent K on the beginning of a word that has one. Because if you did, you'd be calling a medieval knight a knight, a knife a knife, a knapsack a knapsack, and vice versa. <laughs> so that should be nuts and measles. Learn it. <laughs> okay. Okay, next is Fellitone. I'm pretty sure Arthur Weasley did take muggle studies from his third year onwards at Hogwarts, so he should have known it was called a telephone. But instead, he calls it a felly tone and Hermione has to correct him. And it's not just Mr. Weasley. No, Ron also calls it a felly tone as well. It goes bigger. Like father, like son, eh? Okay, now, when I said there was quite a few, I meant four examples. Three of them we have now gone through. The final example of this would be Cleesman. Yeah, Cleesman. Um, Amos Diggory first utters this mispronunciation of what is actually policemen when they actually have a concept of a police force in the wizarding world that in the form of auras they're essentially wizard police officers who are there for the purpose of hunting down capturing and imprisoning dark wizards so how the hell do they know what how the hell do they not know what policemen are I mean, <laughs> or how to pronounce it by the, or for that matter. <laughs> okay, now, um, if there are any more. That you've come across that I haven't in the books. Let me know in the comments down below.
because it is weird going back to the first example how they would pronounce night as in the night bus without the without pronouncing the silent k but they pronounce the silent k at the beginning of nut and measle turning it into canup and kneesel now you should know what the canut is it is the bronze coin in withered currency that's equivalent to like the penny and tuppenny piece in real world legal tender in this country anyway in the UK I know in America it would still be a penny for a one cent piece and it would be a two cent piece okay Well, I have made an episode about wizard currency already. It's in series one. Go and check it out. Okay. <laughs> and to help you, I should put a link to it in the description. Other than that, though, guys, that will be it for this episode. And next time. How about touching upon the topic of mathematics in the wizarding world? Especially why Mr. Weasley can't tell the difference between a 5 and a 20 on British banknotes. <laughs> okay. Um... So that's next time. Until then.